Hello everybody, welcome to Precision Machine Shed. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, but today I got something kind of cool that I've been meaning to do for quite some time now. Um, I recently saw, I think it was Dale Derry's video, Metal Tips and Tricks. He showed a guy with a, uh, a lathe chuck caddy, and I've been thinking about this for quite some time, and I'm going to show you kind of how I'm going to do my version of that. So I got all my stuff set up here, so let's get started. Alright, what I have here is just some scrap material that I had laying around. Uh, this is just a, a 1 by 12 a couple 2 by 4s I gotta grab one more piece of uh, 1 or 2 by and then just a scrap piece of, I think this is quarter inch by 2 inch uh, flat iron that I'm going to use for a handle, I believe. So what I'm going to do is cut this, mount this, and then I got a bolt and we're going to stick this guy through here and I'll probably drill and drill a pin and put a cotter pin in there and then we're gonna uh, get this guy all set up here. All right, our next step is we're gonna need some way to indicate this guy. So I'm just gonna cut a block of wood underneath here that'll fit between these two rails. And I'm gonna measure it this way and I'll probably measure it with a caliper too and see exactly how close I am on my south bend here it's approximately two and three quarter inches perfect it's gonna work All right, now we're going to do the same thing with these guys. Mark our four hair over four inches. Okay, next thing we're going to do is screw these guys together. And <clears throat> what I like to use is these are three and an eighth. T25 torque head construction screws with cutting edges on them. So these work extremely well. And I'm going to put it in at a little bit of an angle so it uh, does What I have set up here is I just put a centering drill chucked up in my lathe and all we're going to do is crank this guy on and push this thing in. Yeah. Alright, let's see how this thing fits. Pretty snug. I'm going to have to take my drill and just ream it out a little bit with my drill. All right, <clears throat> so we got our bolt through there. It spins, it's tight, but it spins okay. And we got a nut or a washer on this side. So what we're gonna have to do is, I'm just gonna put a cotter pin in here. So I'm gonna mark this guy, get our how long our bolt needs to be. And we'll go over here in our fancy cotter pin assortment. I think that one will work fine. So we'll measure that, get a the right size drill bit. We'll go over to the mill and we'll drill it out. Alright, I'm going to countersink this side because I cut my hole a little short, so to make up for it, I'm just going to countersink it with this nice spade bit. And usually this doesn't work very well, but we're going to try it on here. I only got to go about, uh, I don't know, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. All right, so next step is I got it all painted up here, made it looking pretty. And I found this 
So, you know, every once in a while you keep crap and you have no reason why you keep it, but this is an old uh, frame from a coping saw that I had. The handle broke on it or something, or it was a cheap, you know, Chinese made one. So anyways, all it is is 3 uh bar, and then it's got some holes, but you could, you know, heat it up, pound it flat, whatever, and then drill a couple holes in it. This would be pretty easy to make. I just bent it. It was a U-shaped, and then I adjusted it a little bit. And I'm just going to put it right in here, and I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to try and get this as low as I can, and as close to the chuck as I can. Cause all my and hopefully this will work out and we'll see what happens not guaranteeing anything but once again I'm just going to use these three and an eighth uh, construction screws because they're actually pretty Alright, here we go. Slide that guy in as close as we can get it. Wrench it down. And unscrew our chuck. There we go. Let's see how this thing works. I think it's going to flip over, but yeah. So that's not the greatest deal there, but I'm going to have to figure something else out for that. But other than that, it works pretty good. We could always carry it like this, I guess. That would work. I'll think about it. <clears throat> works pretty good. Alright, so there's my version of a quick and easy lathe chuck caddy. Uh, I was going to talk about this guy for a second and just go over some of the things that I think could I could improve on. This thing was made just out of scrap stuff that I had sitting around my shop, so it's not like I had a bunch of time and effort into it or money. This is all free stuff. If I was to actually spend a little bit of time on this and make a nice one, I think the wood base is okay. I originally set this thing up to um, have a dove, have these dovetailed on the bottom for the ways. I don't know where my piece is right now, but uh, that was, and then I decided, well, you know, it's just as easy to put a block under there. So that worked out pretty good. The main thing I found out, <clears throat> this works all right. The only thing is I have a little bit of play here, as you can see. And I think that was from when I came through with the drill and reamed it out a little bit. Uh, I think if I would have, I don't know, maybe I could have ran it through there a few more times to the drill and maybe would have given me just enough clearance to, to do that. And then with that little bit of play, uh, you got to end up lifting the chuck up just a tad bit to get it started and then it'll go. But other than that, I mean, it works pretty good. You could use this with a four jaw. But it'd take, you know, you'd have to do each jaw independently. It'd take a little more time, but um, it would work. And then, if I was going to redo this and actually spend some time on it, I think I would do this part in metal. The wood base would be fine, but I could either do aluminum or steel. And then I would probably have two bearings in here, one on each side, and then probably a little thicker shaft. So then that would you know you would have absolutely no play in here then but I don't know this is the way it goes so that's my solution to the little lathe chuck caddy alright so there we go it's kinda cool hope that helps some of you guys out uh, if you got your own ideas for this feel free to make one and shoot me a photo and I'll uh, include it in some of my future videos if you guys come up with some cool stuff uh, once again Probably not the greatest design in the world, but it actually works pretty good. Uh, like I said, the flobbly, flobbliness, if that's a word, flobbliness, 
in here is the main issue. But other than that, as you can see, it actually worked really well. So I was, I'm pretty excited about this. This is something I've been thinking about for a long time, and I just, uh, you know, it only took 15, 20 minutes to make it, and I just never got around to doing it. So today, I made this just for you guys. So that's awesome. Uh, if you like that video, be sure to check out my channel. And as always, like, comment, share, and be sure to subscribe. So until next time, stay safe on your machines and shoot safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.